Okay, we got that. So now we can just go ahead and leave. I don't need to fight you. I already did. Goodbye. Go ahead and now talk to Paddington. By the way, how are you doing here, trying to be game. Welcome back to more pit my thousand year dog. Um, so that is where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just like my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling of you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I am sure you saw a long way ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. I, I won't. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> so, just go ahead and walk out this door. And... What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star. That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess, this means Mario managed to get the real Crystal Star? Um, I'm gonna say maybe? Ugh, this mustache menace has nearly every Crystal Star now. They were mine. I think I better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Goddess, I think I better tell you something. What is it, fool? What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I'm positive, sir. Ugh, treason. Strange. Isn't it about time for Ted to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't. I, I wasn't sure what to say. I, I, I don't know. It's been a while since I was like, Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have. I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And I cannot confirm what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say but I have found out everything about Sir Gordas' plans. Gordas' plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... No. No way, it's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes. Everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you're currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't you know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like 
do to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the basis computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Eek! You! Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? Gakahack! Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x -Nox. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach. I... I... Oh, love... Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Deletion complete. Tech. <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast! How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. There's no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! Yeah! <laughs> I got no cr cracky. I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was, well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Maya's gonna steal everything and grasp my grass as usual. Your massiveness. We did it. The Match Cooper scouts have found a suspicious underground chamber. It doesn't even have any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Humph, about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. The Hammerbird Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The air is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. Ready to roll. And yeah, like, time to the castle. Hey. I want to say I can get rid of that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. But this jump is going to make this awkward. Right? No. Okay. Go ahead and grab this. Oh. Go ahead and grab. No, I don't want to deal with you. 
Oh. That was... Guys, no. I don't like that. Go ahead and jump on this. And... I don't, that's not how it worked. I don't know how. And... Finish it. Well, 3-1. <laughs> Finish. Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Probably is no problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me, look, Lord Bowser, on the wall behind you. Hello, could it be? Oh yeah, a crystal star. Advantage, Bowser. Mwee, <laughs> at last we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze jumps. Gah, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous rock hawk. You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles, you forgot this hugeness. Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Cosco don't mean to find this biz, babe. My chance build is mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak. Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a weakling do this? Pain. Ouch. <laughs> oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. What? The crystal star. Hmm? Eek! It's split in two. Oh no 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 no! Wait. Hold the phone. The might of my mighty Lord Bowser. This is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. What? What? Speak English. You ow! Want the real one? The great Urk Gonzalez has it. Oh my aching hair! Feel the rock. I don't know anybody. Crikey, I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Crud. Who do I have to find to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Wow, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. Hello? Mayo, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, Didi my... The moon? That's totally nuts. Princess Peach is on the moon? I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool. But why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened to her, do you? Well, only one way to find out. Hello. <laughs> Luigi just then decided to talk to me in email form. <laughs> he just, he's done talking to me in person. Uh, actually, you know what, I'll just, I'll just talk to Luigi now, I'll just do it. Well, guess what I found in Rapture's Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty insane, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sure. Hey, sounds good to be watching the story about here. Rapture's Ruins. Well, like I said, it was a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapture's Ruins. Inside everything was pure white. You couldn't tell what the floor, where the floors became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. 
Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, and that he'd wake up for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense t- to me, so I se- started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened well. I got a tiny tickle on my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard, because cause he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of the ancient race, the Luths. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass was an, is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luth Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of the fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hit six and kept one, putting himself into sleep until a worthy hero woke up pickling him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me. And then he and, he and the ruins vanished. When I added the piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north, where dreaded hate song tower stands. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll, I'll, well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. I'm Screamy. I wonder what future is part for us by he who holds the compass. For I must live or something. That's Luigi's pal Screamy. Screamy creeps me out. I've never seen anyone like him. Like that. Where's he from? Okay. Now we're done that, let's go and place the final... Well, not the final. The <laughs> next crystal star. Let's go and do that. Actually, before we do that, remember this chest that we've been able to see this whole time? Well, now that we have the swing jump, we can actually get. Excuse me, God, we can actually get it. You got an ultra hammer. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like one with a super hammer, so no prob. Hold down B and rotate the stick until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your Ultra Hammer. Then we have to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? B to use Ultra Hammer. Exact same. You're just more powerful. Way to go, you got it. Wanna try again? No, I got it. Alright, you mastered an ultra hammer. Using your ultra hammer, you can even break blocks made of stuff like this. And you can use a hard hammer in battle too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful on your quest, okay? Alright. Also, while I'm here, I do have enough Shine Sprites to upgrade a party member, so I'll go ahead and do that. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the magician. I foresaw your arrival, so which part would you like to power up? Let's power up. Hmm. How about. How about Coops? Shall I power up this partner? Yes. Shazibi. 
Watch Azubi. Then here we go. And like, now I'll meet you guys back at the door. You're okay, at the door. The location of a crystal star was recorded on your magical map. Um, are my eyes okay? Is it me or does that show the last crystal star is... No, it can't be there. Hmm. hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Hey, Princess Peach is there. Oh boy, something about this doesn't sit well. Hmm. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? Kind of quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Hmm, like this may take a little while time, so come back in a bit, alright? Alright, we'll do that. And... We'll just... Take care of some things... In a bit, while we look stuff up... In the next one. So, next time Paper Mario is in your door... We're gonna take care of a few things, and hopefully see if Thinking can figure out a way for us to get to the moon.